Uh, good evening, everybody. If you would be so kind to grant me permission to share my screen, please, uh, behind the scenes and, and while we're waiting on that, I wanted to bring you greetings on behalf of NBN. And I also want to talk to you tonight very briefly about the benefits of, of nonprofits and the works that's taking place. I'm going to bring up my, my screen here so I can share some information with you. I am the founder and CEO of the Johnson Leadership Group following my 34 years of total service as a frontline mid-level and senior level leader with the federal government. Uh, one of my proudest moments, just one, because I had so many wonderful people to speak into my life, is that I was part of the senior leadership team that stood up the United States Cyber Command back in 2010 to 2012. Our, our nation's newest military command uh, and all of the counterintelligence and all of the cybersecurity work that's taking place uh, to secure the networks in our nation. Uh, I'm going to share with you for these next few minutes uh, just a little bit of brief history about NBN, uh, and then I'm going to talk about the nonprofit significance and impact, and then why we should give. And this is going to be really intended to motivate you encourage you and inspire you to be a part of not just what the network is doing today, but have an appreciation for its history, where we are today, and where we're going into the future, because it's absolutely phenomenal. I've been on board now for 12 months. Uh, Stan found me through LinkedIn. He had a conversation with me. I love the concept. Uh, with every month, I've been getting more and more actively involved, slowly but surely, uh, but it's been a good ride and I'm confident that you are going to enjoy this ride. So let's take a look at the Matthews Business Network. I'll just refer to it as NBN. And you've heard some of the conversation from Stan, from Gene, uh, Dr. Gary, and some of the other men and women uh, who have spoken, but we are really a faith-based professional network of men and women, not just here in the United States, but across the globe. You'll be hearing a little bit more about that. And we all do have a passion and a desire to serve our clients. And here's the key with excellence, uh, because the word of God teaches us to do all things with excellence. We pray for each other, uh, our customers. Uh, we kick off our meetings and we close our meetings with prayer. And we pray for our constituents as well. Uh, you've heard you heard Stan mention a little bit earlier, but we, we are quickly growing to 3,000 members, which is pretty phenomenal. 52 chapters across eight regions. That includes Africa, and that includes the Caribbean, uh, and many other strategic regions around the world as well. Uh, and here recently, NBN has earned its 5013C status, nonprofit status, uh, to provide the members, us, with technical skills training and to support a number of charities that are connected with NBN that include some of these that are, that are listed, but we have others as well. So Project Redirect, you'll hear more about that. Quality Dental Academy, you'll hear more about that. Mothers in Crisis, uh, that kind of speaks for itself, but we'll unpack it as we go along. Uh, SOCI, and the Restoration Community Outreach, just to name a few, uh, are part of what we'll be doing as connected members of NBN. Uh, it's going to be powerful. Now, what, what's significant about the nonprofit? I want to share a, a little brief story with you. Last month, uh, I was in the state of New Jersey. That's where, that's where Stan Matthews is based. And I was participating with some 1,200 nonprofit executives, members, owners um, that are connected with nonprofit organizations across the entire state of New Jersey. Uh, that was back on December the 6th. And I sat back in awe just watching these men and women network their resources together, the camaraderie, the relationships, the love, and it was, it's the annual New Jersey Nonprofits Conference. And the more I study this and the more I pay attention to what's going on, I'm discovering that states uh, throughout the United States 
do this individually. And it's really, really powerful. This was just my badge of attendance and it was a great conference. It was all day right there in Somerset County, not too far from where Stan is. And I'm sharing this with you because of how it really blew me away. Just, just one state, uh, not to mention the other 49 in terms of what's happening in the nonprofit space. So this New Jersey Center for Nonprofits, the theme was amplifying our voices together. And it, it reminded me of the work that's taken place in NBN because we're unified, we're one, we're together, uh, and we're walking in love with the heart to serve people, to serve our customers, and to help each other to succeed. That word succeed is subjective because it means different things to different people, but it's all about making a positive impact in the lives of others. And, he, and here's just a glimpse. That's just a glimpse of some of the people that were in the room. We, we were at a place called the Palace at Somerset Park, right in Somerset County in New Jersey. And you can only see a, really a fraction of the 1,200 people that were there, men and women representing their various nonprofit organizations. We were having conversations around how to serve on a board, conversations around raising funds, conversations around training, leadership development, pouring into each other, uh, togetherness, camaraderie, uh, meeting the needs of our customers, uh, building up the community. It was just really, really powerful. And the entire time that I was there for the whole day, it just reminded me about the work that we're doing uh, with NBN and how we can continue to expand and grow, but equally important to serve and build our community and do some really, really good things based on biblical principles. It was just really, really powerful. And that's why I titled this particular slide, The Power of Nonprofits at Work. Take a look at this. I, I'm, a, I'm a homework and due diligence kind of guy. The Garden State is referencing New Jersey. And this is data that came from the stage from the woman who was serving as the president of this particular conference. In the state of New Jersey, the Garden State, there are 40,000 plus nonprofits that employ close to a half a million employees with an annual spend of $50 billion run by 1.6 million volunteers. That's just the state of New Jersey, the Garden State. And, and this is data that came from the stage at this particular conference. So my curiosity and being inquisitive led me to do some research uh, and some homework on what's happening in just a couple selected states here on the East Coast and then one on the West Coast. And so I looked at a number of different sources and I want us to think about where NBN is going now that we are a 503, a 5013C nonprofit and the vision that Stan has as our leader and how we can partner and come alongside our leader to help it happen. In my state of Maryland, and Gene is also based here in the state of Maryland, and, and many of you are as well, there's some 39,500 nonprofit organizations in the state of Maryland that employ 263,000 men and women that generate $77 billion in revenue with the help of 28 million volunteers. Now, I just want, I, I want you to look at the numbers because we're, we're going somewhere. We're, we're talking about vision. We're going somewhere. I was raised in Richmond, Virginia, and I have a lot of connections there. There are 54, almost 55,000 nonprofits in the state of Virginia that employ a little bit more than a half million men and women 
that generate $102 billion in revenue per year. I went out west and I looked at the state of Arizona, close to 22,000 nonprofits just in that one state that employ 322,000 men and women that generate some $28 billion in revenue every year. The power of the nonprofit. They don't exist to make a profit. They exist to serve and to build and to promote camaraderie and togetherness. It's a, it's a powerful concept uh, that's happening right in front of us. So why, why should we give? Why, why should we be involved? Why should we even care? Well, giving is more than just financial, but giving is also of your time and other ways that you can serve. What you see here in front of you are a couple of organizations that I'm a part of. These are national nonprofit organizations that I'm a part of. To the left is the Pinnacle Forum. The Pinnacle Forum is a faith-based membership, partnership-driven organization with just a little under 1,000 partners where men and women um, who are driven by faith, who are driven by scripture, who are driven by the Bible, uh, that love the Lord, come together. And we're all about transforming leaders, community leaders, church leaders, business leaders, family leaders, to transform the culture. Anything that's going to be transformed begins with the human behavior. So transforming leaders, men and women, boys and girls, to transform the culture is what we're all about. This is a nonprofit organization that I've been connected with for a good little while. And for the last couple of years, I've been serving on their national board of directors as their secretary. That's, that's, that's a way that we support. It's not always financial, but oftentimes it is. We can also give of our time, our energy, our efforts, our knowledge, our acumen, our intelligence can go just as far. On the right-hand side, some of you know, but most of you don't because many of us are meeting tonight for the very first time, but I'm connected with this organization Nexus Family Healing. You heard Stan say uh, that I do speak across the country. I've been doing that for quite a while on a variety of topics in this season of life, primarily leadership, but other topics as well. Uh, but I love family. Been married 30 years. From our union, we have three sons, Kevin, Chris, and Cameron. They're 28, 27, and 25. I have one brother, and my brother was born with a mental disability. So for all of his life, from the time I was a little fella, quite frankly, even up to now, uh, we've had to advocate for him, negotiate on his behalf, serve him and support him because neurologically there's an imbalance. And so social skills, acumen and intelligence, ability to reason, solve problems and make decisions um, are more at the age of probably maybe a 20-year-old, even though he's now 60. And that's that's been the issue all of his life. Fast forward, I meet a young lady, we fall in love, we get married, and from our union, we have three sons. And my youngest son, at two years of age, was diagnosed with autism. So here we go again. I have to step in the gap. And I have to advocate, support, serve, and negotiate on his behalf with the school system, uh, all of the administrators, all of the different social programs out there in the community. Because again, neurologically, there's some imbalances going on and he can't reason and solve problems at his chronological age. It's more so almost at the age of a child. And so I was a keynote speaker way back in 2017 at their annual training conference 
in front of about maybe 200 of their leaders from across the country in Minneapolis. And before I stepped off the stage, the CEO invited me to serve uh, on their board. And I've been on their board of directors now for a number of years and I serve as the chair of the governance committee. These are both nonprofit organizations. Yeah, I contribute financially, but more importantly, I give of my time and I tell my story uh, as a way to encourage and inspire and help other people in the community, especially those that are looking for organizations to give to as to why they should give. Last but not least, the other space that I'm in in this season of life, in addition to the leadership development training is that I'm also an executive coach. Uh, I pour into C-suite executives to help them to tap into their potential to be the best they can be personally and professionally. And so to that end, last year, last January, right around the same time that Stan was reaching out to invite me in to be a member of MBN, the nonprofit Professionals of Color Collective reached out to Kevin Johnson to say, uh, we would like to retain you, sir, to pour into the lives of our executives around the country that are leading these different nonprofit organizations we need a collective, we need a group, we need a network where we can come together and share and pour into each other and support. And I've been working with them now for a year and it's been a great relationship. And it was through them that I found out about the nonprofit conference that took place in New Jersey because the two young ladies that run this organization are based in New Jersey. Lots of connections there in New Jersey. So those are some examples as to how you and I can get involved and why nonprofits are so incredibly important. The work that's being done in the trenches of our communities is powerful and is life-changing. So NBN has earned its 5013C status, close to 3,000 members, 52 chapters across eight regions. I mentioned a few of those, the Caribbean I mentioned, Africa, I mentioned, uh, and there are many, many others. Yajayo means our bright future. That's the vision. That's the vision that Stan and the executive leadership team has cast uh, on the way forward. You, you have a little bit of history of where we've been and where, we've, where we are, close to 3,000 members, 52 chapters, but we're going somewhere now that we have the 5013C status. Our goal this year is to raise a half a million dollars. Last year, we raised $117,000. We're gonna be much more intentional and much more deliberate this year as we unpack all of the different stories, all of the different happenings, help us all to understand and navigate the roads that we're going down and why it's so incredibly important about the work that NBN is doing, but also how we're going to be supporting our other nonprofit connections to the NBN and why your dollars are so incredibly important. And by the way, tax deductible. So Project Redirect, Foundation Journal, the eLearning Academy, Funding Our Future Campaign Journal, Quality Dental Academy, Mothers in Crisis, SOCI, and the Restoration Community Outreach are just some of these nonprofit venues that we'll be supporting uh, in 2024 and beyond. So here are the giving levels. Gold, $100. In return, you get recognition in the Funding Our Future Campaign Journal, and you receive a complimentary NBN Lead Generation Journal. The next level is Diamond, $250. Again, recognition in the Funding Our Future Campaign Journal, and a free NBM digital card 
to showcase your brand and promote your product or service. The next level is $500 and above. And there it is again, there's the recognition and the funding our future campaign journal. And then of course, the free NBN digital card to showcase your brand and promote your product or your service. These are the three different giving levels that you'll be hearing about throughout the year. Um, and we want to make sure that everybody understands that this is a journey of faith. Everything that we do is faith. And so we stand on one of my favorite scriptures, 2 Corinthians uh, 5 and 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So my time is up. I thank you for yours. I want you to really consider who we are, where we are, what we are, how we operate, and the way forward uh, understands leadership under the leadership of our executive team. And at this time, we'll pause to see if anyone has any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Kevin. Uh, this is more than I expected. And we are anointed and our cup is overflowing. To take from my favorite psalm, <laughs> he that is our shepherd, it says we shall not be in want. <laughs> he will lay us down in green pastures. He will restore our soul. Right? But in the end of 25, it says that he would anoint our heads and our cups would overflow. And so we're greatly, greatly appreciative of the teaching that Kevin has shared this evening. On the fourth Monday of each month, you will hear another lesson as we go forward. Now, I was trained at the National Presbyterian Center in Louisville, Kentucky, when I first became an ordained elder in 1995. And I would like to say playfully, the difference between Presbyterians who are largely white and Pentecostals who are largely black and Baptists, of course, is that the Presbyterians fundraise with cheesecake. Uh, we, the brown people, fundraise with fried chicken. So <laughs> they both use food <laughs> to raise funds. But what I did learn is that both of them use small dollar contributions to get to where they're going. So what is $500,000? And this is my Presbyterian training. $500,000 is a $100 contribution 1,000, I mean 5,000 times. And so over 50 weeks, George Dines, over 50 weeks, Michael Anderson, over 50 weeks, Kevin Anderson, uh, we are going to be asking 100 people each week to make a $100 contribution in return for which you'll get the gifts that Kevin talked about, just like you do at PBS, just like you do at United Negro College Fund, just like you do with those nonprofits that Kevin mentioned. Our call is to be a ministry in the marketplace that is faith-based, as Kevin said. Our students are the entrepreneurs who we want to educate, inspire, and empower so that they provide <laughs> products and services in their communities that they serve, which exceed the expectations of the consumers that they serve. When we train up a generation of 1 million successful entrepreneurs, they will then be a blessing to the consumers who they serve, who look like us. Why is this significant? American Demograph De De uh, uh, Demographics Magazine recently had an article that by the year 2031, America will reach a tipping point on race. By the year 2031, the average 52-year-old in the United States of America, 55% of them will be non-white. America is presently a $19 trillion economy. By 2031, it's estimated America will be a $25 trillion economy, and people of color will control, as consumers, about 21.5 of that huge sum. What does that mean? That means that we have to get ready to lead at the corporate level, 
at the government level, at the local level. If we are moving to the point where we're 55% of the US population and we command half of $25 trillion, we cannot then ask God, God, why have you neglected us? Why have you left us with so little? And then God would answer if we were to call him to the witness stand. I'm trained in the law. And if we called God to the witness stand, Kevin, in 2031, he would say, what do you mean I left you without? You got $12 trillion to spend. Then God may say, may I ask you a question, Dr. Wilder? What question do you have, God? What did you do with it? <laughs> This is the challenge that we're facing now. We cannot say what Frederick Douglass has said. We cannot say what Denmark Vesey has said. We cannot say what Elijah Muhammad has said. We cannot say what Marcus Messiah Garvey has said. We cannot say what Malcolm and Martin has said. We cannot make the complaint about America that they made. Why? because we are the inheritors of their sacrifices and we will soon have about $12 trillion in our hands. And so we can hear Malcolm and Martin, we can hear Elijah, we can hear Marcus Messiah Garvey, we can hear Du Bois saying, Kevin Johnson, what did you do in my name? I died for you, I marched for you, I was assassinated for you. What did you do with that $12 trillion that you had between 2023 and 2030? What did you do with it? And I'm gonna demand that you ask, you answer, right? And so what we're saying as MBN is that we wanna train a million entrepreneurs so that we can answer the questions by answers. We can answer God and we can say, we have trained the generation of service and product providers who exceed the expectations of their consumers with love, respect, and honor. That is what MBN is trying to do as a marketplace ministry. And that is who you are. You have joined with us in trying to create more value for the consumers that we serve. And so we thank Brother Kevin uh, for bringing a powerful message and also underscoring and highlighting the fact of what a powerful role nonprofits in all of these United States of America play. That's what he was really saying. He was saying, this is not just about MBN, this is the whole country. Business owners, join a professional network that will help you share the unique value of your products and services with black and brown customers who have more than $1.6 trillion to spend on an annual basis. Join the Matthews Business Network and get the coaching, the clients, the connections, and the capital you need to succeed to get growing right now. Business owners want to connect with consumers with $4.3 trillion to spend on your products, services, opportunities, conferences, and great events right now. Call Matthews Marketing Group at 732-357-5701 and let our marketing and media partners at the Oprah Winfrey Network, CNN, ESPN, MSNBC, MTV, BET, and VH1 help you acquire the new clients you need to prosper and succeed. Call us right now. If you like the content, make the connection. Subscribe now so that you can continue to get updated about all of the opportunities, all of the praise reports, all of the great leaders that we bring here to you in the GBC, the global black and brown community in the shop black news. We'll see you soon and we'll see you over the top. Yes, you.